Hey everybody, thank you for clicking on the video. This is my cousin Jasper. Hey. He uh, called me a few days ago, asked me if I was going back out in the woods again. And I said, of course I am. So uh, he asked if he could come along. So yeah, we've been hiking for a while. He's in a lot better shape than I am. But uh, yeah, we're almost to our spot now. I think that we're gonna set up, so let's get going. Now I know, uh, now I know last video I told you guys that I was going to use a tree that's back here uh, and kind of build a natural shelter. I'm still going to do that. It's, uh, I'm going to do that next week though. Tonight we're just going to make a quick tarp shelter, get a good fire going. He's got some venison, killed him a doe a couple weeks ago, so pretty excited about it. It's going to be a good night. I think this will work here. We'll go a ridge line from that tree to that tree. We'll have to move some of these bigger pieces of punky wood out of the way. Uh, I'm just going to take all these leaves and throw them in my trash bag. I'm going to sleep on that. So we kill two birds with one stone get our fire probably set about right here in this area. I don't know. We'll figure it out. I'm not really sure what kind of shelter Jasper here is building. But uh, I'm just going to keep it super simple like I always try to do. Uh, I brought my wool blanket tonight. I got me a brand new 100% wool blanket. But don't be shy. I'm don't good. be shy. I'm Come good. on in here. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> He's a little nervous, you know. But I still am too. You know, I'm still kind of new to this whole YouTube thing. So, yeah. Anyways, let's get started. Yeah. Classy beer again. <laughs> First thing I always do is try to hang up my pack, the way it's easier to get to. Now my pack's off the ground. They said what, in the 20s? Something like 20s, that? 20s, yeah. Around 10 o'clock is when it's going to start getting cold. see when yours come over a little bit should oh my bad dude <laughs> here we'll do it like this so, so they're connected uh -huh. sorry I done screwed up all your stuff there we're all good hey, I still got one. Oh, you still got one more dude no I'm like oh one stayed in it I think we got our shelter set up pretty good here. Um, he's got a really expensive uh, sleeping bag that's going to keep him nice and warm. And I got a wool blanket and some trash bags that I'm going to stuff with leaves. So uh, I'm going to build the fire probably about right here. And it should keep us pretty warm. Yeah. So it's about ready to start getting some stuff together, start a fire. Yeah. Probably yeah. clear this up. Clear it out, yep. Oh, 
If I ever get stranded, I'm good though. Ow. Get myself in the face. <laughs> Show you how to eat bugs if you want. Yeah. Yeah. I would if I had to. <laughs> of course, uh, cousin Curtis would do it for five dollars. Oh, yeah. Remember that? You want me to eat this worm? Give me five dollars. I'll eat it and he'd do it too. There's our wood. <laughs> Fatwood should send it up pretty quickly. Okay. Let it breathe just for a second. Yeah. There we go. We're almost ready to start <laughs> cooking, bud. Whew. I about fell asleep in my last video whenever I tested out my bed. Yeah. I might do it again. You got all this, right? Sure. All right. <laughs> Feel free. <laughs> all right. Get my wool blanket set up. Get it underneath there. Yeah. Yeah. All means I got it all in. Yeah. I had to get with him again on this. <clears throat> you finally relax for a minute. Yeah. Oh. As soon as that burns down, we'll start cooking the deer. Jerky. Jerky. <laughs> Pork rind? Pork rind. It's a good start. Mm -hmm. It's a good start. <laughs> mm -hmm. Got a couple of red potatoes here that I'm just gonna throw in here. Throw that one over there. Actually, we'll move that. We'll do this. Yeah, yeah we'll put them right here. It'll be all right. I got some butter we can put on too to give them some sort of flavor. All right, I got this Drix Bushcraft Grill. I had another one of these, but I moved a few months ago and something happened to it. It's hard telling. So I got me a new one. I think it's only 20 bucks. Got some deer tenderloin here. If I can get it. Oh yeah, this looks good. I meant to bring some seasoning. Yeah, buddy. This is gonna be good. Well, are we getting three a piece or what? Yeah, it don't matter. Pick and choose. We'll just eat it caveman style? Yep. All right. Yeah, that should fill us up with the baked potato and the um, all that meat there. We should be good. Yeah, uh, we got the pork meant, rinds and We got pork too. rinds and beef jerky. That's all you need. We're good. But I meant to get a, a spice mixture for this here. Anytime I'm out here, depending on what I bring out here, Casey, she's got... Her own spice that she makes for me for hamburgers, a different one for ribeye. Her best is her salmon. I don't know what she puts in it, but it, you know it shouldn't be legal because it's that good. <laughs> but uh, yeah. yeah, I forgot yeah. it, so it's all right. 
I meant to bring some A1, but uh, yeah, just trying to make time to get out here too. I but, hear uh, you. I was running a little behind this morning too. I woke up a little late. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, it's got to be A1 though. None of that country bob crap. <laughs> Even though that's an argument for some people too. Oh yeah, well, it's YouTube. People argue about everything. <laughs> How do you like your steak? I eat mine medium. Medium. Yeah. See, there's another argument. There's another argument. <laughs> well, I how like you it. like yours? Well done. Well done? Oh, yeah. My, uh, I, you know, a lot of people say, you know, you're wasting a steak if you cook it more than medium. I say you cook it however you like it. I agree. <laughs> you know what I mean? People argue about the dumbest things, but like my mom, though, she won't eat anything. If there's even a hint of pink or red, she'll throw up. I remember one time I was making hamburgers on the grill, and I didn't cook one all the way through. <laughs> She ate it and then it immediately just started like, Bleh. like sorry, she's weak stomach like that. I don't like mine too runny though. Like, mine's got to be about medium, almost medium well. Yeah, I was gonna say, like, I think for restaurants stuff like that, yeah, but for deer, I like, or, I don't know. You know, a lot just, of times it's a different taste. Yeah. Not bad taste, but just I, I can't explain it. I um, yeah, gotcha. <sighs> Freaking smoke getting in my eyes. Smoke follows beauty. They ain't even gonna be able to hear you. We chomping on these pork rinds over here. <laughs> <laughs> Those things are tough, buddy. All right, I'm just gonna leave these alone. Quit messing with them. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and flip these. They're cooking pretty good. Mm -hmm. I love this little grill, man, because it don't weigh nothing and it slides right in your pack pretty easy. Yeah, I've seen them like that, but they come like, you know, those copper, whatever, the copper tin or whatever it is. Yep. That's how I've normally seen Nice and warm. Yep. I use them for the deer stain. Do you? Yep. So what'd you what'd you kill it with? The rifle that you bought last year, the year before? Uh, I think I've had that rifle like two years. Two years? What, what is it again? A uh, Howa 270. Nice. 1500. Did it drop it pretty quick or did it run off? Uh, it's been both. All depends on the shot. What about this one here? Uh, she, she fell, ran. Hit a tree and, uh, and that's where she stayed. Fell, ran, hit a tree. Well, maybe it was the tree that killed her. <laughs> maybe. All right, buddy. I probably should have threw those uh, potatoes in a lot earlier than this that meat here. Fairly far. What? It goes fairly far. Oh, that made. flashlight. Yeah. Yep. For two dollars and fifty cents. You can't beat that. Can't beat it with a stick. <laughs> Alright, so let's take this bad boy off, throw it over here. Let's see how them potatoes feel. Let's see. They're pretty soft, but I bet in the middle that they're not. We'll just, we don't need to like sit down and have a meal. We'll just chew on this for a little bit and then yeah. eat the potatoes. It'll be good. I will turn those again now. Alright buddy, you supplied the meat, so you get first taste. There's that damn turkey again. We're not far from where I camped last time. I ain't gonna Did you hear that? Yeah. How's it taste? It's good. Mm. But you're right, we cavemaned it. <laughs> we cavemaned it, buddy. Mm. It's good. Mm -hmm. I remember the best pot roast I've ever made mm. was with deer. Mm. I let it cook for like eight hours. It was awesome.
good stuff. Mm -hmm. <laughs> set right there for us. Yeah. You know we set this up because the wind was blowing that way and now it's blowing this way. <laughs> Mother Nature is just moody sometimes. Oh. Mix it with the pork grind. <laughs> Crush one up? Yeah. <laughs> you think that would be a seasoning? Try it. I'll try anything. Or I'll just care. try a bite with one. Same concept. I think. pork rinds and pork rinds will chip your tooth though, buddy. Get you a soft one. That should be good. Just wrap it in the hip. There we go. That's how you know you're fat right there. <laughs> <clears throat> Does it work? No. No. <laughs> no. I wouldn't recommend it, but you're going to try it anyways, yeah. ain't you? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I've ate I, worse. I, I can do it. I guess you just gotta get used, <laughs> used to the texture. Yeah, you can get used to anything, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I'm good with that. Ain't A1, but... Ain't A1, yeah. <laughs> I'm a country bob man myself. Oh, God. I don't think I've ever had country bobs. I don't even put A1 sauce on my stuff. I keep talking with my mouth full. Mm -hmm. It's very rude. But there ain't no rules in the woods. Here comes that wind. Yep. Here. They said it might snow tonight. That'd be a surprise wake up. Yep. Been through worse, I think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We didn't record it, but we went ahead and built a fire reflector. I don't know if you can see it right there. Um, right now he's getting some wood, some big logs that I cut up earlier. And uh, it's about time to relax. Sit around and just shoot the crap and get ready for bed. Man, maybe if we would have built this over in that other area we were looking at. Probably would have been alright. I think we would have been fine. Mm -hmm. Is always the next time? Oh, yeah. I'm not going to be able to make a video for a couple weeks because the holidays my work schedule is crazy yeah. so it's a, yeah it'll be about three weeks before i can get back out here well i got kids birthdays like right after christmas and all that and then i got drilled not too long after that too so mm -hmm. i was telling casey the other day i was like man i wonder where jasper has been to i ain't heard from him forever she said well why don't you call him <laughs> i said well hell he's probably busy it turns out you were at drill, so if I would have called you, you would have been at drill. Yeah. How long have you been in the Army now? Ten years. Ten years. Yep. Ron's fixing to retire here soon, ain't he? Uh, I think he's he's got quite a few more years, I think. I think he went in 2006. I'm not sure. So... He's been in about 14 years. Yeah, so six more, he'll be able to just... Retire and hang so, out, I guess. So I want to say around 14, 15 years. A couple years before I did. Yep. <laughs> kind of followed in his footsteps that way. That and the economy crashed in 2008. Yeah. I invited Jay to come out here, but he had a birthday party or something to go to. I was going to have Zach come out here. But I think he's busy this weekend too. Yeah. So it's been cool to get us all out here. I should have brought my uh, Bluetooth speaker. Could have, you know, played a little bit of music while we're chilling here. What did we? <laughs> we used to listen to the same two bands over and over again growing up. Poison and Alabama. Yeah. <laughs> You're talking about two opposites of the, you know, the spectrum. You know. We'd be like listening to Ain't Nothing But A Good Time. Ain't looking for nothing mm -hmm. but a good time. And then all of a sudden we'd go to Dixie Land <laughs> Light. Yeah. <laughs> well, you gotta rock out and you gotta bring things down a notch. You know what I mean? Yeah, for sure. 
I was gonna say I remember still in all the dad's cassette tapes like he had like the greatest hits with like Blue Oyster Colt with Godzilla. Yep. And uh, what was it? Yep. Uh, Ugly yep. Kid Joe, Cats in the Cradle. Like yep. I used to play the crap out of that. And if I remember right, tape. your dad's favorite bands, he always listened to Steve Miller Band and Boston. Boston, yeah. Those were like his two favorite bands. I remember still in his Skid Row CD too. Yep. So I'd play that over and over. Uncle Matt liked Motley Crue. Yeah, that was Uncle Stace liked Led Zeppelin. That was his favorite. Uncle Kenny loved Kicks. Not the cereal, the band. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's got a tattoo that says Kicks on there, and I'm like, what is that, the cereal? Yeah, probably a couple of theirs. Blow My Fuse, that's a good song. I was going to say, you could probably like play any 80s, like glam, metal, or whatever they call it now. But, uh... Any type of that classic rock, and I could probably nail it within the first 10 seconds of the song. Oh, I'd know it too. Yeah, I love hair metal. Yeah. But my favorite band's Guns N' Roses. It always has been. I like Motley Crue. Motley Crue's cool. I've seen them in concert with Poison. Poison opened up for them. Yeah. I li I've always liked Poison more. I don't. I love Motley Crue. Don't get me wrong, but yeah. I love Poison. Poison, yeah. CC Deville's like the great, one of the greatest guitarists to, and he's a blues guitarist too, which I mm. love. You listen to Poison, it's basically like a blues glam band. You know, they're playing blues. Mm. Now that I'm sitting down, my ear must keep hitting my coat, so I gotta readjust everything. <laughs> okay, now these are getting warm. Are they? Yeah, these are little I think maybe hot ears. Just, maybe just take some time. I'm gonna put them I in here know, so still, warm up my big belly. I still got my gloves on from carrying all my boots. <laughs> no, they're warming up now. Oh, yeah, I feel them now. It's gonna get cold tonight. I mean, it's getting cold now, but it's gonna be really cold as we're sleeping. But when I'm out here, I don't really depend so much on the fire to keep me warm anyways. I make sure I got, you know, a good wool blanket or a good sleeping bag. And I just kind of, you know, hunker down in that. And I'll wake up a couple times and I'll throw, throw whatever logs I got on there. But I was gonna say just more for me, it's like, watching the fire like if you're laying down at the same time it's kind of like just more relaxing to pass it out oh yeah i mostly just keep it going just to keep all the critters away how long are you going to let that beard go for i ain't i ain't shaving it i got these i got these little patchy spots right here <laughs> but over time they're slowly coming in i'm not touching it i'm letting my beard grow so like zz top long or I'm just, whatever happens, I'm going <laughs> to let nature take its course with this face. You uh -huh. know what I mean? You know, it kind of covers the double chin and it makes me not as ugly. Okay. When I don't see my face, you know. I told Casey, because she hates, she hates mustaches, because I'll do this, like curl this up. Mm. She freaking hates that. And I said, keep talking crap about my facial hair. I'm going to shave everything but that. And then I'm <laughs> going to put like, you know, hair gel in it and just keep it like that. Just looking like, you know, the Monopoly man. Yeah. She's like, I will leave you. <laughs> I'm like, you ain't going nowhere, baby, and you're going to be happy with this mustache. <laughs> I was going to say, you should have seen me earlier this month. I had one like I couldn't go nowhere near a high school. <laughs> <laughs> you had a mustache? Yeah, it was uh, pretty bad. Uh, but then we had a Christmas party coming up, so uh, I ended up shaving it before. Why? What does Christmas party have to do with you shaving your mustache? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you know what people make fun of you? Uh, it's it's more like how the military has like all restrictions like oh it was one of those, yeah. those military I was like party. i was definitely cutting it like on the borderline so really yeah it was really close yeah <laughs> <laughs> did you take a picture at least uh no no oh. trust me my wife definitely remembers though she hated it didn't she yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> some of the greatest older shows you used to watch as a kid that were so great, but then you watch them now. Like Double Dragon? Yeah. Like remember the, how cool that was when that movie, well, you probably were way too young. No, I remember. I don't I remember when that movie came out, but I remember watching Double Dragon when it came out and like, and that is the coolest movie ever. And then now I watch it, I'm like, what the heck? <laughs> this is horrible. I'll tell you another one though. Like one that I won't watch because I used to love it as a kid was Three Ninjas. Wait, Rocky, oh, that's, Colt, that's and still great. I don't know. That ain't like, a bad movie. That's a good movie. I haven't watched it since back then. We watched it last year because I remember the kids were wanting to do Taekwondo. 
and I don't I don't know why I think it's just because we couldn't afford it with all the kids going to Taekwondo mm. it'd be like a couple hundred bucks a week and I'm like eh but uh, uh, they you know I'm like you want to do ninja stuff let me go find three ninjas and I found the DVD at disc replay yeah for like four bucks and I brought it home and I'm like I remember dude this movie is awesome no matter what AGR you can watch three ninjas I was gonna say for me one that never gets old is the turtles movie uh, like, Ninja Turtle? Yeah, the like first even one? Yeah, like yeah. even when I watch it now it's still great. Oh hell yeah. I think the only one like as a kid I loved, but not so much as when I'm older now, is when they went to China. You remember? Oh that one? uh Japan the third one? Yeah, that one. Yeah. Yeah. It wasn't a bad the first one was still the best just because it was like it wasn't actually made for kids. Yeah. You know what I mean? It was kinda of dark movie. But we used to watch uh, Ninja Turtles on tour. Remember that? Yeah. Coming I still out know every show. Yep, I still know <laughs> every word to every one of those songs. And then, uh, what was it? Uh, yeah, I don't know. At all of them, though, it was Donatello. That was always my favorite. Well, of course, growing up, I loved Leonardo, but then as you get older, you realize that Ralph was the cool one. Oh. You know what I mean? He was like the, the hard ass. Yeah, but then. I don't know, for me, it's more like Donatello had more like the brains and the muscle at the same time. Yeah. Because when it came to any time tech, like they always went to Donatello. So I think if they didn't have him, I don't know. I, I guess I they all kind saying. of bond. I see yeah. what you're saying. Donnie had the brains and he wasn't afraid to kick somebody's face in. Yeah. You know and then I mean? that's the way I feel about Beast and X Men. Like he's really, you always, really smart. I remember that. Yeah. You always was obsessed with Beast. Beast is my favorite. Yeah. Hell yeah. Although I am upset about when the X Men movie came out and they only used him for like political side of like oh the yeah he wasn't like a superhero he was yeah. like a dude in a suit yeah wasn't he kind of like that in the cartoon though he was uh, like a professor or something nah, not always I don't remember I was never big into X Men growing up uh, I loved him I always, I did like Gambit though was that the dude that threw the cards yeah. Gambit yeah. yeah I liked him man I don't know. Quite a few of them. I was always the Incredible Hulk kind of guy. I freaking love yeah. Incredible Hulk. Just getting mad and just breaking everything. I'm like, I can relate. I can relate <laughs> to this guy. I like the Hulk too. Cause, uh, I don't know. He actually, according to the comic books, he, he actually ends up destroying the Earth to where he's the last one left. Really? And he tries, I think it is, it's been a while, but I think he tries like starving himself, but then even the Hulk comes through. Ah. So it's like he can never die. Dang. So I think if there's, it's a toss up between. Uh, this is my own opinion, is between Thor and Hulk because Thor is a, like a demigod. Yeah. So he's kind of like, what do you call it, immortal. Immortal, yeah. And then Can't Hulk. Kill him. And then Hulk, he's just like a experiment gone wrong. Right. So. Can't kill him. Yeah. I guess it's kind of like Hulk. Godzilla, like the the matter you making, but the regeneration. So I don't know. That, I hear you. Superheroes are a whole conversation on their own. Big conversation. Yep. And then you got the whole DC, and then you got the Marvel. But I was always a bat dude. I love Batman growing up. Yeah, see, like, I was a Batman guy. Like my son, he's really into it. Is he? Yeah. He's even got the underwear. <laughs> <laughs> so did I.
lid on it. Tighten. There you go, it works, right? Yep. So that sleeping bag kept you nice and warm, didn't it? It was good. The wool blanket did okay. I just had to keep like waking up and wrapping myself back in it like a burrito. Get warmed up one more time before we head out. Yeah. Probably take some of that creek water and dump it on there. That way it don't spread.